Current division is a fundamental principle in circuit analysis. Let's understand it in two minutes. This is the current divider circuit, a current source feeding two resistors in parallel. From Kirchhoff's current law, we know that Is must be the sum of I1 and I2. But what is the share of the total current that each resistor will get? Intuitively, since resistance is the opposition to the flow of current, we expect the larger resistance to get a smaller current and the smaller resistance to get a larger current. Mathematically, we can prove this to be the case. From Ohm's law, we know that I is equal to V over R. The two resistors are in parallel, so they have the same voltage, V. So, this V acts like a constant of proportionality, making I inversely proportional to R. Let's derive the current division formula. We'll start from the fact that the voltage is the same for the two resistors. R1I1 is equal to R2I2. We'll solve for I1, for example, by rewriting I2 as Is minus I1 from the first KCL equation. We'll now expand the brackets, take R2I1 to the left, factor out an I1, and divide both sides by R1 plus R2. This is I1, the current through the R1 resistor, and I2 can be found very similarly. It is easy to verify that the sum of the two is indeed Is. Notice that the inverse proportion is apparent. Each current is obtained by dividing the other resistor by the sum of the two resistances, and therefore current indeed splits in inverse proportion to the resistances. And so, there you have it.